Hey, what's going on everybody? Hope everybody's doing good. Hope everybody's driving and striving for great things. I've uh, come to realize something today. And it's kind of been something in the in the making the past few days, weeks, or months. But I realize <clears throat> that when us as people, individuals, whatever you want to call it, whenever we're trying to move forward, be something bigger than ourselves, be better than we were yesterday or last month or the year before or whatever, anytime we try to move forward, grow, work on us or work on our goals, work on our dreams, it's like all this bad shit happens, right? It happens and that's life, right? It's real. It happens. There's nothing really you can do about it except understand it. And not only understand it, but accept it. And also with that is being able to accept the, the taking responsibility for things that are happening in your in your lives or you know my life and you know for the people that know me they all know me as man what the hell is Jeff doing now he's doing this he's doing that I've done all kinds of different things you know ever since I got out of the military and you know to me you know that yeah it's kind of it's embarrassing I felt embarrassed by it but also not really right it's like the only short way of me putting it as you know yeah every, I've done I've tried to start tr different things I've doing things that I've never even done before and I you know that's that's life in itself is we have to keep pushing for something better to get what we want or to be where we want to be and so for instance you know I recently just started taking on uh, some new ventures and that's the type of things I've been working on lately working a full-time job working on another business it's like my fourth or fifth business that I've started and you know I've realized I was doing a lot of things all wrong and a lot of good things have happened in the past couple days but it wasn't until this last weekend where it felt like all the worst shit was happening right so my dog Willow you know she's four years old and she was sick and all of us you know we took her to the vet finally and it was so much worse than what we thought and it was extremely rough it was gonna put a lot of kinks into my road and my path to my current path to success right and it made me angry it made me upset but I'm also accepting it because essentially it's my fault right I it's my dog it's you know I've allowed it into my life I created a bond with this dog and this this and that I can go on and on about that which that's probably gonna be another video but um, had some family issues that happened the next oh, sorry we I ultimately I had to put my dog down and it was the hardest decision I've made in a very very long time it was a horrible decision it was a horrible feeling it made me feel just sick to my stomach I was bawling my damn eyes out I 
it made me even more angry angry with myself it brought up a lot of old things um, it just it struck a nerve right like it, it struck a nerve to where it had me on my freaking knees actually laying on the floor next to her and it was just it was fucking horrible horrible I felt regret I felt just just bad I just felt horrible as a person and you know but it's life goes on and I realized that after you know a day or so of me just sulking around and being in my feels and you know I did what I thought was necessary and I think a lot of people can also relate to that and you know like I said life goes on you have to drive forward and that's what I did but so the next day I had all kinds of family issues going on and this shit it just kept rolling downhill right then the following day after that I had to take my daughter to the ER and there's two things going on with her right now and it's fucking scary right I am like holy crap what the fuck is going on I'm trying to do these things that I feel are so great and it's uplifting it's getting me out of this hole that I feel like I've been in for quite some time now and now I'm getting hit with very extreme shit and but you know what that's that's that is life that is real shit and people don't talk about the bad shit that goes on with them right and I'm not about bringing negativity to people's lives or my life for that matter but we need to talk people need to see that other people are going through the similar shit bad shit and whatever you want to say of the negativity yeah it's all around us and I feel like it's life's way of testing us pushing us through to see if we're worthy of the other side right to see if we will be rewarded for our consistency for our hard work for our ability to freaking just drive on and I mean there's all kinds of different theories on that but I've I just kind of had I had some conversations with some friends from work and you know family and stuff like that but ultimately I had a conversation with myself and that is you can't let anything stop you from achieving your goals or your end game your targets your your life ambitions or what have you and I have done that so many times in my past and it's shitty but it was lessons learned right so that everything is a lesson to be learned everything every day every freaking hour every minute every second of our lives is a lesson learned but you can't grow as a person if you don't analyze these things really have a deep conversation with yourself or with whoever to figure out what these lessons are or why is this happening or what is the re you know reasoning and I think that's like that's that's a problem that people face in today's world and I've done it in the past too is you know we don't want to dwell on the bad shit we don't want to be negative we don't want to we don't want people to see our bad shit our bad side our the the horrible things that happen to us but everybody goes through it everybody has bad shit happening in their lives and 
everybody wants to post, you know, oh, I'm doing this, my life is so great, and I'm living this way, I'm living that way. Yeah, got it. People with, uh, you know, so much money, rich, wealthy people, yeah, they got fucking problems too. People that have no money, that are poor, everybody has fucking problems. It's all about how you perceive that and how you move forward from those problems. It's about your willingness to drive on, stick with consistency, and overpower yourself, right? It's like a you have to be disciplined in nature and because ultimately if you don't, you're just I'm gonna keep doing what I was doing and that was essentially kind of giving up when shit gets hard, thinking that it was the right thing to do at the times, but it's not, right? Because it didn't work. I've realized that things that I was doing that I thought was right wasn't working. It, it, it starts me it started me all over again and I'm right back to square one did I get anything from it hell yes lessons learned you learn from it you drive on you you get back on the fucking horse get back behind the wheel and you drive on but things don't change if you're not willing to change yourself um yeah, that's kind of wanted to share that with everybody and put it all out there um, that everybody goes through shit and we need to address it, not hide it. We need to share it, right? Because ultimately we only have each other and it goes in, you know, with what I was talking about before is what I learned in business, entrepreneurship, freaking life, uh, relationships, being a parent, being whatever, everything we do, we can't do it alone. I mean, even the freaking people that introverted or whatever, that don't ever leave their house for whatever reasons, I mean, some point or some other they have to engage with other people to get to a certain point or some type of benefit, right? So instead of hiding these things, these bad things, we need to look at it in a different perspective, right? And that is being open about certain things to a certain extent and just letting people in on what's going on and just being transparent with people, I feel like it's just, we need more of that. I need more of that. So I am sharing this with you guys. And yeah, stay tuned. Uh, believe on a positive note that I might have had a horrible fucking weekend, but I'm good. Like, I'm good. I'm still on this path in it. It feels good. It's almost like free feeling. And it's empowering to be where I'm at right now. And I'm super excited to just keep pushing forward, holding myself accountable, staying disciplined, being consistent. And I look forward to what comes because this is just the beginning and I feel like a new me so I don't know stay tuned if you have any input I would greatly appreciate it um, if you want to talk about some things let me know I'm always here I'm willing to listen willing to talk um, yeah, just share your guys' thoughts, whatever it is. Um, yeah, take care, everybody. Talk to you soon.